time. Are we ready? No. Not ready. I will never be ready. For not truly ready or prepared for a Lorna Shore song. Buckle up. Let's check this out. This is, oh God, and the name. Soulless Existence? Oh yeah. This one's, this one's, this one's gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. Light some candles. Hug, hug your family before listening to this song. Let's check this out. Steven, appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Let's check this out. Soulless existence. My God in heaven. Don't get scared now. I'm out, water break. Coach, sub in for me. Sub in. Wouldn't that be awesome if I could just have like someone else just sub in <laughs> and then handle a minute or two of the song then I come back in? Or a tag partner? Tag. Where's Andrew when I need him, man? That'd be excellent. But man, the thing about them, it's absolute destruction, carnage, but very controlled. It's very controlled. It's tight, especially the drumming. The drumming is what sets them onto like a whole nother tier. But I love the epicness. Like, it's, it literally, it adds an uh, extra fear element. It really does. It makes it fucking scarier. The, the organ in the background, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's an organ, but you know what I mean? The uh, orchestral sound, the swelling, it, it gives it like a churchy thing. It sounds like a fucking ceremony is occurring, probably at your expense. That's, <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a fantastic time. They do it for all of their songs, at least the ones I've heard so far. And it really, that's what makes them special. They're not just screaming. They're not just, and the lyrics in the song are actually pretty damn good. If you actually listen to the lyrics, pretty damn good. But it just makes it feel huge. Like it really feels like you're at your own funeral or something. It does. Like you just wake up and there's you dead. Like, ah! Ah! That's what it, that's what it feels like. Very grand.
many people are singing. I don't know. But I don't, it, it, he can't be alone. There's like three voices. Unless it's like tr his track over his track with his track. Maybe. And the pitch change, when he does, like, he'll be doing the throat singing, demonic sound, and then it'll sound like, kind of like a, a wild boar just got kicked in the face. It's like someone just squeezed him by his neck as he was mid-singing. It just goes into a whole different sound that, frankly, no other singer does. I should have done this in the other room. I have a Christmas tree up. It feels wrong. <laughs> it feels, these don't fit. <laughs> Talk to me. Let's be honest, this guitar solo here is about as close to clean vocals as we're ever going to get from Lorna Shore. <laughs> That whole section there, that whole final third of the song, that was pretty gangster. <laughs> that was, that was awesome. They had the guitar wailing in the background as they were still going back and forth. That was actually pretty goddamn sweet. The guitars are like our, our guiding light of hope in this song. 
<laughs> in, in the darkness, we have that shimmer of light leading us out. That was perfectly done there at the end. Perfectly done. <laughs> God, man. <sighs> Lorna Shore never lets you down. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Whether you enjoy this this style or not, they will not let you down. You're in for a show the entire way. And I actually like it. I do like it. I don't know if a whole album, I'm not sure. I've never tried, though. Never tried a full album of Lorna Shore. This was a good song, though. I think To the Hellfire, I still prefer slightly. But this chorus was their best chorus I've heard so far. Again, I've only heard like three songs of theirs. This might be the third. It could be the fourth. I can't remember. Two or three or four. I did like this chorus. Between the black and white. It's a pretty damn good chorus. And all their songs have that epic vibe. Again, it feels like you're either entering the gates of hell or or something is exiting it. It's one of the two. Something is happening, and it's probably bad. <laughs> it is probably bad. Or good, I guess, if you're... Depending on what team you're fighting for here. <laughs> By the way, if... Here's a wrestling thing. But if, like, wrestling was actually real, if it was, like, a real thing, Kane, he'd probably come out to something like this. Just saying. This is what, like, the devil or a demon exiting the shadows. It should be some music like this. Grand. Kind of elegant. It is. It's, it's kind of elegant. But absolutely devastating. Devastating to your chest, heart, soul region. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it, man. Now, again, it feels weird with the Christmas tree. Right over there. Feels like a, conf a conflict of interests. It does. It really does. But <laughs> but I liked it. Hit like, subscribe, Steven. Appreciate you, homie. I'm always in, I'm always down for a good Lorna Shore. And so far, again, I haven't been let down by him. There hasn't been a song or I've heard so far that was like, eh. They went kind of light on this one. <laughs> I, I have a feeling. I may never get that vibe. Ah, Lorna Shore kind of half-assed that one. Yeah, no, I, I don't think they half-assed anything. Let me know what you guys think. Hit like. Subscribe if you're new. And if you are still here. Pain Remains. Is that the name of the album? It's a good name. And did they have... Were there more... There was more than one singer in this song, correct? Right? That wasn't like him and then just him over him. I mean, it, that's possible, but it would be much easier if you just another singer. And it did sound like a, a, a second singer. But I'm not sure. Doesn't say featuring anybody. So I don't know. Let me, let, you, let me know down below. And if you are still here, you are a real one. Pain remains. I wonder what Lorna Shore means. Have I Googled that yet? I don't think I have. I'm going to Google it. A real one.